welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I am here to share with you my favorite WW friendly desserts. All of these dessert items feature good, whole, clean, for the most part food. Remember, I follow that 90-10 rule where 90% of what I eat is clean and 10% is some of my favorite things. So you're going to see a mix of all of that here in today's video. But I'm going to be sharing with you several desserts that are super delicious, point friendly, and amazing. Like literally, these are my go-to desserts on WW. I have one of these every single day, sometimes twice, depending on the day. But I am here today to share with you my favorite. So let's jump right in to my favorite desserts on WW. The first dessert I wanna share with you is my OG, my go-to, the one I've been eating pretty much since day one, and that is my parfait. This is literally one of my very, very favorite desserts. I start out with a yogurt. Of course, it can be a yogurt of your choice. I really enjoy the Too Good yogurts or the Siggy's yogurts. They have great ingredients. They're delicious. They're nice and thick. So I start with one of those. I add to that one Smart Cake. Depending on the type of yogurt or the flavor of yogurt that I'm choosing, that determines the kind or flavor of Smart Cake that I'm choosing, whether it's cinnamon or a fruit flavor, all depends on the yogurt that I've selected. And the third item that I add to my parfait is going to be the So Delicious Cocoa Whip. This is my favorite whip topping. It has excellent ingredients with the exception of natural flavors. It doesn't have any carrageenan, which is commonly found in whipped topping. It's a very, very big inflammatory ingredient and I don't eat it at all in my diet. So I was so thrilled to find this so delicious. So what I do is I layer my parfait. I start on the bottom of my glass with yogurt, add some smart cake, add some whipped topping, and repeat until I have filled my glass. And I like to crumble up and sprinkle the last little bit of the Smart Cake on top just for fun. So that is one of my favorite desserts. It ranges anywhere from three to four Smart Points depending on how much of the whipped topping that you use or whatever whipped topping you're choosing. Some of them are less Smart Points. So this is definitely a go-to dessert for me. I buy my Smart Cakes off of the Smart Baking Company website. I do have a code for 10% off. It is linked down below as well for you guys. I love the Smart Cakes. You can't beat a little cake for one Smart Point and they're absolutely delicious. Since we're talking about yogurt, I want to talk about another one of my favorite little desserts. And again, I take a yogurt, either a Too Good or a Siggy's or whatever I can get my hands on with good ingredients and I top that with some granola. Now I have a few granola favorites. I really enjoy the Purely Elizabeth granola. It has stellar, stellar ingredients. It's a little bit higher in Smart Points, but with this dessert, I'm only putting a tablespoon, maybe two, on top of my yogurt so I can really regulate the Smart Points and make it super doable on any plan. I also like the Safe and Fair granola. I purchased this off of line. I love the birthday cake and the chocolate are really good. But if I'm looking for the lowest point granola that I can get my hands on, it's always the Julian Bakery Pro Granola. You can have an entire half of a cup for two points or a quarter of a cup for one point. So generally, I will add an entire quarter of a cup of the Julian Bakery to my yogurt only because it is so incredibly low in smart points. They have tons of flavors. And you guys, this yogurt is clean. It's as clean as clean can be for a yogurt and super point friendly. I will reach for any of these granolas to top my yogurt. I do also have a discount for Julian Bakery. You just have to click the link down in the description box and enter the code and you'll get 10% off of your order. So if you're interested in checking them out, any of these granolas are excellent choices. Oftentimes I do like to add some cacao nibs to this little yogurt concoction to give a little bit of crunch from the chocolate and a little bit of chocolate flavor, especially if I'm using the chocolate granola with the cacao nibs. So good. Cacao nibs are chocolate in its raw form. Very, very good for you. Lots and lots of nutrients. And I will put generally one Smart Point worth of these on my yogurt as well. So I usually have a four Smart Point little yogurt dessert and it's delicious. Now that the weather is getting a little bit warmer, I've been wanting ice cream. 
And let me tell you, I cannot find a clean ice cream. There is not one on the market. If you guys are aware of one that has wonderful ingredients, please leave that down in the comments below for me. But I did find a ice cream sandwich that is really good. It does have a couple of ingredients that I'm not a huge fan of, but overall, in comparison to ingredients in Smart Points, it's a great option. And that is the So Delicious Dairy-Free Ice Cream Sandwiches Coconut. So basically these are made with coconut milk. They are 100 calories per sandwich. I'll put the points here on the screen for you. And they're really, really delicious. They aren't a huge ice cream sandwich, but they're only 100 calories and they don't have any artificial sweetener. So they're made with real sugar, they're great. They're great if you just want ice cream on a hot day. Another dessert that I'm really loving, and this I have when I have a little bit extra points for the day because it is a little bit point heavier dessert, but it's so good. So I start out with one of these Vans gluten-free waffles. I find these in the freezer section, usually the health food area of my local grocery store. They are delicious. They are three smart points per waffle. So I crisp that up in either my air fryer or my toaster. I then top it with one point worth of my So Delicious Cocoa Whip once when it's warm so it kind of melts a little bit. It's so delicious. And then I sprinkle on usually one point worth of nuts or those cacao nibs. Whatever kind of sounds interesting to me, I'll add one point worth of that to the top. And then of course, I add some sprinkles because who doesn't love sprinkles? And it just makes the dessert fun and pretty and you wanna eat it. So when I have this dessert, it generally costs me three points for the waffle, one point for the cocoa whip, and one point for whatever nut or the cacao nib. So it's a five smart point dessert. But again, I save this for a day that I have the points available and it's really, really good. Now, if you even have more points, you could make this into a little bit of an ice cream sandwich. So you can take two of the Vans waffles for six smart points, layer that whipped cream in the middle, the nuts, the cacao nibs, the sprinkles, whatever you're using, pop it in your freezer for a little bit and you have a waffle ice cream sandwich. And that's going to cost you about eight smart points. So whatever your points for the day allow, this is a great clean eating dessert. I have talked about these brownie thins so many times. I absolutely love these. I have ordered these off of the Thrive Market over and over again. They come in three different flavors. There's chocolate mint, salted caramel, and then just a double chocolate or a brownie flavor. These are absolutely delicious. These are from the company called Lillaby, and these are their brownie thins. They literally taste like the crunchy corners of a brownie. But you guys, these are so fantastic in ingredients. My favorite, I have to say, is the chocolate mint. But these brownie thins are gluten-free, they're paleo, they're dairy-free, they're naturally sweetened, and they are full of super food ingredients. They're also non-GMO. The ingredients in these are absolutely outstanding. There isn't one that is questionable. You can have an entire serving for 120 calories or the points here on the screen. But sometimes, I just want a little bit, I just want a few pieces. So I'll half that serving, which then lowers the smart points. And that is going to only be 60 calories for a half of a serving. But these are absolutely phenomenal. They are so good. So if you're looking for a dessert that's actually really, really clean, this is an excellent option. And again, I buy these off of the Thrive Market. I would say the chocolate mint is my favorite, then the caramel, then just the traditional chocolate brownie. I've also really been enjoying playing around with brown rice cakes. So I buy the brown rice cake from the Lundberg brand. I have both the round rice cake and the stackers. So just depending on my mood, depending on if I want a rectangle or a round rice cake, I will choose whatever one suits my fancy for that day. But I've been doing a lot of fun dessert options with these rice cakes. I will often add one tablespoon of nut butter and that is three smart points. So I'll add that to the top and then I like to top it either with some dried fruit, whether that be raisins or any type of dried fruit. I do not count dried fruit so that portion of my dessert is zero points. You you can also add some additional nuts to that, like some crushed up peanuts or pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds if you want kind of a nutty sweet dessert. And you can also add the cacao nibs. That's another great thing to put on there for that chocolate and peanut butter. But wait, add a little bit of sliced banana and you have a fabulous, fabulous dessert. Now your points are going to vary based on the toppings that you put on your rice cake, but I always start with the rice cake and the tablespoon of nut butter, and then I'll just add whatever else I put on that point-wise. Generally, 
whatever I top mine with doesn't really add any additional points. And one last fun thing you can do with these rice cakes, again, top it with some nut butter and top it with your favorite jam. I buy this particular jam because it doesn't have any added sugar. I put one smart points worth on there. I think this is a local product to my area because we are huckleberry heaven over here, but you can go to your grocery store, your natural food store, and try to find a jam or jelly that just doesn't have any added sugar, and that's a great option, and you kind of have a PB&J dessert. We all know I love the Built Bar, and this has been a go-to dessert for me. I generally will have a Built Bar either before or after a workout or as a dessert. Recently, I got on the train of warming up my Built Bar, so I throw it into my microwave for about 10 to 20 seconds seconds it begins to kind of melt the built bar and it becomes this ooey gooey deliciousness similar to a brownie my favorite bars to do this with are the double chocolate for three points the peanut butter for four points or the peanut butter brownie for four points so good you guys it's literally like you're eating a brownie delicious. So once a week, twice a week, I will have this as my dessert. And depending on the Built Bar that I choose, it can be three to four smart points. Sometimes I just want to eat the Built Bar directly out of the pantry or the fridge or the freezer. But my favorite dessert way to eat these is to warm them up in the microwave. My code here on the screen will get you 10% off of the Built Bar. Save the code. It's completely reusable over and over again. And if you've never ordered from Built Bar, there's a special link down for you in the description box that will get you $10 off your first order. That makes the Built Bars less than a dollar a piece. That is a killer deal for a delicious low smart point protein bar, aka candy bar. Next up are the Patience Chocolate Little Bites. These are so good. Now these are a little bit higher in smart points for an entire serving. So sometimes I will half the serving just depending on how many points I have for the day. They come in a couple of flavors and they are delicious. They're chocolate with cranberry and then usually like a coconut or something in there. They're these little chocolate balls. They remind me a little bit of a truffle or a bonbon and they're so good. And you guys, these have fabulous ingredients as well. Excellent, excellent ingredients. And it's the perfect pairing for a dessert. It's the chocolate, it's the sweet with a little bit of tart from the cranberries, really delicious. I buy these off of the Thrive Market website as well. And again, they do have a couple of different flavors. So I will put the points here on the screen for a full serving and a the points here on the screen for half of a serving. That way you can work them into whatever points you have left for the day for dessert. But it's a great clean food choice and they're really truly amazing. And my last go-to dessert will come as no surprise and that is the Smart Sweets. I love the Smart Sweets. I am a big sweets person, a candy person, chocolate, gummy, any type of candy, I am here for it. So when I first discovered the Smart Sweets, I knew this was going to be a favorite of mine. And recently Smart Sweets has done a couple of Things. One, they've introduced a brand new candy. It is called the Smart Chews, and it is a spinoff of a Starburst. Now, I like these, but they're not my favorite. And what I, I generally don't reach for these because they're five Smart Points per bag, and I don't really think it's worth it, to be honest. I would much rather reach for the Sweet Fish or the peach rings, the sour blast buddies, or any of the sour or gummy bears before I would generally reach for the smart chews. All of the other smart sweets are only three smart points per bag. You get the entire bag of candy for three points. They also recently changed out some of their ingredients. They did use some questionable fiber and a couple other questionable ingredients, and they have switched that out completely. And now they use allulose, which is a natural sweetener derived from figs and raisins to sweeten their product. Since they've done that, it's gotten even better. The peach rings are so soft and juicy and that coating, oh, they're so delicious. And you can't beat a whole bag of candy for three smart points. You can pick these up a lot of times at your local store. However, they have not introduced the Smart Chew or the Allulose Sweetened Smart Sweets in the store yet, but you can get them on their website. And my code here will get you free shipping. You can have it delivered directly to your doorstep. I do think that you need to spend $30, I believe, for the free shipping, but they don't go bad. I keep them in my pantry. And whenever I'm just wanting candy, I reach for Smart Sweets. I'm telling you, they're absolutely phenomenal. So those are some of my go-to favorite desserts that I have been loving over the last few months. Like I mentioned, I eat these desserts, at least one of these every single day. I always, always have to have dessert after dinner. It's just 
how it goes. I generally always want something sweet after dinner, so I make sure that I work my dessert into my Smart Points budget. As long as you either pre-track or know where you're gonna fall points-wise, after dinner, you can have a dessert every single day. Sometimes I have more points than other days and that's when I'll pick and choose my desserts based on the points that I have left. I wouldn't be a happy girl without my dessert every day. So I make sure that I work it into my smart points. So I hope this helps give you guys some great ideas on some really easy, delicious, healthy dessert options. I will link everything down below, discount codes, all the things for you guys. Definitely join the Thrive Market if you haven't already. Right now they are offering free groceries of your choice with either a one month or 12 month membership. You can't go wrong, it's free shipping. I will place an order and my order ships the next day and then I have it within a day or two after that. So the turnaround time is awesome. It's just such a great online grocer and they give back to the community with every order, which is one of my favorite things. So all of that is linked down in the description box below. Also in the description box is my website link and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of the community over there. We're always looking for new, awesome, supported members to join the community. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around, subscribe, hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss out. We are all WW on this channel and there's lots of fun videos coming your way. Give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed these My Favorite Desserts and of course, leave your comments down below. I always like hearing from you guys and interacting with you. And of course, as always, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. It means so much to me that you guys watch my videos. And thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.